to Madagascar, where heads of states from French-speaking countries are expected to arrive in Antananarivo for the 2016 Francophone Summit. Delegates are going to discuss a range of issues, including security and sustainable development. Today's focus is on young people. Youth delegates will be granted an audience with government officials to discuss some of the challenges they face. Another issue likely to come up at the summit is the language protests in Cameroon. About 100 people have been arrested during demonstrations over the use of French language in English-speaking regions. Language is a great tool. It's a link. It gives us the capacity to act, and we embrace it because it's a way for us to cooperate in trade and business, but also for us to work together to achieve peace in the spirit of solidarity. Let's get you more now on that story. I'm joined live from Antana Narivo by CCTV's Robert Nagila. Robert, have any heads of state started arriving ahead of that summit tomorrow? Well, thank you, Penina. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, there has been a steady stream of leaders all morning arriving into Antananarivo, the capital of Madagascar. We're expecting the bulk of the leaders from the Francophone uh, member states to arrive this afternoon late into the night for that major summit, heads of state summit, that is due to open tomorrow. Now, I hasten to add that there were uh, a few leaders who did arrive on Friday evening, including the Prime Minister of Kosovo as well. So yes, some have arrived, but we are expecting the bulk of the Francophone leadership to arrive this afternoon and in the evening. Penina? And Robert, what's the focus of the activities today on the sidelines of the summit and why is it significant? Well, Penina, it's a really, really big day here for the youth. It's actually been branded as Youth Day. Now, we're standing just in front of the uh, youth village, I beg your pardon, the Francophone village, which was put up specifically for this Francophone summit. Now, this is where uh, the bulk of the youth activities are taking place, where youth are displaying some of their talents to uh, residents of Antananarivo and uh, National uh, people from uh, around Mag Madagascar itself. Now, at the uh, at the place where the summit is taking place, which is about 10 kilometers from where we are at the moment, uh, youth leaders from across the Francophone uh, member states are expected to sit down with ministers from Francophone countries and have a chat with them over some of the challenges that. Uh, they are facing in their countries at the moment. And those challenges include uh, unemployment. Remember that the youth are uh, the biggest uh, percentage of uh, the population in this Francophone state. Yet most of them do not have employment. Most of them do not have any direction as to where their lives will end up. Now, this opportunity, uh, this platform that has been given to them is a, a discussion more or less where they'll be able to uh, not just present uh, or rather give or tell the ministers some of the challenges they face but also give ideas as to uh, what direction the Francophone summit should take in terms of uh, uh, youth empowerment and in, uh, in sustainable development as well. Penina? All right, true, but Nagila in Antananarivo, many thanks for that.